Okay, we're on Baba Batra, Perak Yud, Mishnah Gimel, third Mishnah in the 10th chapter of Mesecha Baba Batra. We're continuing to talk about a get. Okay, so now we're talking about a get uh, that you write between a husband and a wife. Says the Mishnah. You can write, the guy can have the have the, the bait in or whoever, have the sofer, write a get for a man, even though his wife is not with him and not in the same place. And the woman, she's going to give a shover. A shover is the receipt. Even though her husband is not there. Okay, okay? As long as the sofer recognizes them. So they're not trying to, uh, he's not trying to write a, write a get for the wrong person. I mean, the, the get has to be written. It's, it's a sofer and the baked in. They have to recognize them. Okay? Have, because you, you don't want the husband to be writing a get for another wife that they don't know. Meaning they don't want, they want to make sure that it has to be l'shem ha'isha for the sake of the woman. And the husband has to pay for the sofer. The, why does the husband have to pay? We'll see in a second. I mean, why can you write a get even though his wife is not with him? Okay? You can even sign the get. He gives the get. He can divorce her whatever he wants. Even though his wife is not with him. She doesn't have to agree he can give her the get I mean, against her will. She doesn't have to, she has to agree to receive the get. But he doesn't have to uh, have it written. He, she's, she, he, he can coerce her to receive the get. He can give it to her even if she doesn't want to be divorced. What is this receipt? When he pays her the ketubah that he owes her when they get divorced, she gives him a shovar. Okay, it, meaning uh, it's bad for her, but good for him. Meaning you could do something against somebody's will. You could do something without their knowledge as long as it's a zuchud. So him having this shovar, this receipt is a zuchud. Because it's a merit, because once he pays, he wants a, he wants a document saying that he paid. You can do a zuchud before a person. You can do something on behalf of that person even without their presence, even if they don't know about it. So she can do the con- she can have the shovar, the contract written up saying that it's like a receipt. She can do the receipt even though he doesn't know about it because Adam And he can do the get without her knowledge because he can because he can divorce her ba'al korcha. It is not equal. Well, that's the way the halacha is described. Everyone complains that it's not equal, the, the, the standing of the man and the woman. And that's absolutely true. In the Torah, the husband gives the divorce. The wife does not. Nowadays, the woman has to accept it, has to receive it. She has to do it midat. We don't give, a, we don't give the divorce. Ba'al korcha. Similar, so let's move to a different kind of shtar. Kotvin shtar lelove, afapi she'en malve imo. A person wants to say, like he wants to write up a contract saying, A borrowed money, Ruven borrowed money from Shimon. So now Ruven can have the, oh, I'm sorry, Behabal, I skipped. Behabal no ten sachar. The husband has to pay, uh, has to pay for the, pay for the get, has to pay the, for the, the bait in, has to pay the sofer, the scribe, the, it's, he was really the lawyer. Why does the husband have to pay the lawyer? The kahati explains he has to pay the, the, the he has to pay the lawyer because it says, the husband has to pay, he, he has to write it. So he has to pay from his money. And why does the sofer have to recognize them? She has sofer they recognize them. She no makiran, because if he doesn't know who they are, maybe they're writing for somebody else. Kishmo, kishmo. Meaning maybe my friend, you know, you know, Yaakov Klein wants to marry, divorce his wife, Rachel, and we have the same names, and I'm saving him money, etc. And you can't do that. That's a, it's not lishma. Okay, let's go back to the next star. The next star. Kotvin star lelove. You can write a contract on behalf of the borrower, right? Ruven's borrowing from Shimon, so Ruven can have the star written up. Avapisha ein malve imo, even though the lender is not there. Okay, why? Because Ruven is holding on to the contract. If that contract falls out of his hands into Shimon's hands, Reuben's going to be in trouble unless he actually borrowed the money. So remember, he's he's writing it against him, and it's a chud for the malve for the for the lender. So you're allowed to do that even though the malve is not there. And you can't you don't write it. The borrower, the lender, let's say Shimon is lending to Reuben, so you don't write Shimon saying, "Guys, write up a contract that I lent a hundred thousand dollars to Reuben." Yeah, and we'll have the Adam sign it. You can't do that. until the borrower is with him. I'm for obvious reasons, because the love is the one who's going to owe the money, so the love has to be the one to agree in the beitin. And the love pays for the contract. Why does the pay for the contract? Uh, okay. The person receiving the business at transaction, he's the one, he's the one that has to pay, uh, pay the money for the sofer. Okay. Uh, let's you sell, you can write a star. Let's say a person is selling his house. Again, who's the person 
who is benefiting. And I sold my car. I sold my house to Joe Shmo. Joe Shmo's benefiting because it's going to be his property. So I can write the star. I can have the star written up in Beitin, even though the buyer's not there. But But similarly, you don't write it for the buyer until the seller is with him because the buyer is going to you know, end the contract. And remember, the contract is signed by the Edim. The Edim sign and say, this kind of thing was sold. He did such and such for such and such an amount of money. We don't know whether the money was passed over. So if the guy shows up, you write it for the lokech. Yeah, write a contract that says, I bought you know, Joe Schmo's car. And if I show up with Joe Schmo and I say, yeah, I've got a contract for your car. You don't do that. And the person always, and the person who's the buyer pays for the contract, as we said, because, uh, because the, the person who is benefiting from the, the person, I'm sorry, the person who's the, 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 the receiver of the business transaction, Mekabel Ha'iska, He's the one that pays for the contract. All right, we'll stop here. And and dedicate our learning to the memory of my father, Harab Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Have a good day.